Hey, if you're interested in learning a little bit about Fusion 360 or how you take a model that is a physical object and convert it to a digital model, you'll want to sit in this live stream. Uh, I'll edit this up later. It's been a while since I live stream on this channel. I've been uh, pretty busy with a lot of other stuff, but this is taking a fence cap. Uh, my cousin needs a end cap created for railing. And he knows that I'm, I'm the guy to do it. So we'll take this information from this and we'll turn it into a model. So I have Adobe Illustrator queued up here. And I already traced this. And what I did is I took my pen, traced this on a piece of paper, and scanned that piece of paper in. So you can see it's oriented uh, vertically. This is the, the object oriented vertically there. And that's the outline. And now I need to take this outline and convert it into a vector. And then the vector I can use and bring it into Fusion 360. And I can extrude it and do cut throughs and all kinds of other things. And there's two profiles. There's the top profile here that is wider than the other profile here. Yo, what up, Dantana? Thank you so much for joining in, brother. And hey, Mike, thanks for joining in. I, yeah, I haven't live streamed in a while, so I appreciate you jump, jumping in here. Um, and then you can see there's a profile here. So we'll, I think we'll make quick work of this. And the nice thing about this is that it's symmetric, and I just need to find the midpoint. So finding the midpoint in Adobe Illustrator is kind of easy. I just need to draw this box here and then it gives me a center point and then here is my center point right there right so I just need to do the left side or the right side I don't have to worry about drawing the entire thing and now I can delete this so that gives me my center point right there yo Beavis is here so for all you don't know yo what is up brother are you serious Dantana yo bro <laughs> first stream of yours I caught man I appreciate you so much brother that is friggin amazing so uh <laughs> so Mutt Punch is my brother by the way he lives like two doors down from me so it's it's funny and uh Vince thank you so much for joining in I just I can't get over this five bucks man yo you kill me brother you kill me so, uh, yeah, I really appreciate that. I'm using my uh, stream deck here. I, let me know how the stream looks, the quality of it, because I'm, I'm doing this in 4K. And if you got a TV or something, see if you can pop it up on a TV and see how it looks. I'm going to bring the, uh, the replay up on my phone here and see, see how it looks like on, uh, on my phone. By the way, I've been live streaming a lot on my, uh, my other channel. So if you haven't subscribed yet to my other channel, it's You Do It After Dark. Little uh, little play on words there, you know what I mean? So let's see if we can find me here in this uh, in this live stream under videos. And I'm not seeing it pop up here on my channel. Yo, what's up, brother? Thank you, Renaissance Man, for joining in. Yeah, the 3D stuff is uh, is dope, but I'm, why can't I see, why can't I see my video showing up on my channel? This is really strange. I did not expect this. See, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking at my channel here. But anyway, you guys, so just look at my CNC. I can't, so here, the Renaissance. <laughs> so. This 3D stuff is all cool, but over my head right now, just like a CNC machine, I can't get my VCR blinking. <laughs> Yo, Ron Floyd, thank you so much for joining in, man. Bob Young, what is up? What is up? Appreciate y'all joining in. Dan Tana, thank you again for that $5, man. I appreciate that so much. Yeah, I just hit a 10K um, over the weekend last month in a mud punch five dollars mud punch <laughs> our mom is officially silent okay so for, for those i gotta take a photo of this this is hilarious so 
Yeah, my mom's in the hospital, right? Or she's actually recovering now. We saw her in the hospital. So <laughs> she broke her hip, right? And then she got she got all kind of metal and stuff jammed in there and the doctors did a bang up job on her and so she's recovering right now. But yeah. <laughs> Yo, M- Michael, what's up? Thank you so much for joining in. So I'm I'm also recording this session too, which is cool. So if the if the live stream is working out, let me know because I'm like being an idiot right now and I can't figure out why I can't see it on my phone, and I'm just wasting way too much time. So I'm in Adobe Illustrator right now, and in in Adobe Illustrator I have this uh, sketch which is really a trace. I traced this piece from my cousin Brian. And it's it's an end cap for a railing, vinyl railing. And apparently you can't get them anymore. You know, stuff, they get whatever. <laughs> All right, Ron, yeah, we'll take care of you. So we, we had a live stream um, with the F3D PCH on Friday night and we were fortunate enough to have guests, um, Jimmy, uh, Jimmy DeResta and Chuck Hellebuck. Chuck Hellebuck's actually part of the F3D PCH, so it's not like he's really a guest, um, but it's just that he doesn't come on frequently, so we're really appreciative when he does join in. Oh uh, yeah, thank you so much, Renaissance man, I appreciate that. Yeah, she's definitely a Robocop, so... Uh, he was saying, and, and I used Adobe Illustrator before for this process, but he was saying that he loves doing things in Adobe Illustrator because you can do the Bezier curves, you can sketch things out, and he'll typically start with something like sketch on a napkin or on a piece of paper, and then he'll convert it into something on uh, in Adobe Illustrator, and then he'll import it into Fusion 360. And the, thing, the reason why he likes Fusion 360 is because you can just start extruding and punching through and doing all kind of crazy model and stuff. Yo, one res. Thank you for uh, joining in. Appreciate you. Let me know if the stream quality is good. Uh, we're streaming in 4K. So, and um, so yeah, I'm in. I'm in the. Oh, I have to go to Creator Studio. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know about that. So I don't want to do too much of that right now, Mike. But thank you. Um, let's see. Let's see who we can do here. All right, so. And then, uh, if you would, uh, this is going to sound stupid, but if you would just uh, post that link to the live stream in here. Yo, Jeff, I appreciate you stopping in, brother. So, uh, Jeff, uh, cool dude. He runs LFA uh, Reviews. He's the uh, headphone guy. So, if, uh, thank you, Dantana. Yeah, he um, he runs uh, a review channel, and he is crushing it, man. Just crushing it. Chris Riley. Oh, my God. Yo, you want to talk about somebody crushing it? Oh, my God, Chris Riley. You are the best. So, Chris Riley... <laughs> <laughs> you were too much, man. I haven't streamed in a while. Yeah, that's crazy. So Chris Riley, you, if you don't know Chris Riley, you got to follow him. He um, and you got to follow Jeff. Um, so Chris Riley runs a three D printing. Um, he he runs a three D printing channel, and his methodology, he he's setting the bar high. He's how many did you have, Chris? How many did you have in there your last live stream? What was your peak, like concurrent? I I swear it was like one eighty three or one ninety or something. It, I don't know if I'm mistaken or what, but it it was crazy. So he he really set in the bar high for for this, and he's he's definitely going places. Yo, Mike, Mike NLTMW man, he's got some some awesome uh, shirts and everything, man. He. He's really branding himself well. So NLTMW is uh, Never Let the Machines Win. It's really, it's really a tricked out name. Yo, Charlie. I appreciate you, man, stopping in. So Charlie, he does a lot. Oh, my God, this is, like, incredible. Everybody is showing up. I really appreciate it. So Charlie runs um, 
Oh, and uh, Mike uh, Wiley, can you do me a favor and grab my You Do It After Dark and pay, post the link in there? Because I like other people to check out my You Do It After Dark. Because I live stream pretty much every night now on You Do It After Dark. I'm always doing something. But yeah, so so Mike has his his merch and everything. Uh, just incredible branding. But uh, back to Chris, man. Yeah, he he his channel is Chris's Basement, right? And he um, he does the uh, 3D printing building and everything. And he'll have 199 people in there watching, and it's just incredible. I'm just so so amazed. Yo, Modern Day Tech, thank you for joining in, man. I appreciate that. Eric's a good dude, man. Hung out with him in uh, Baltimore. We had a meetup in Baltimore. We'll see if we can get this uh, meetup in Niagara Falls again. We'll see if it works out. I know I have a podcast meetup I'm going to do in September. I don't know if that's going to me mesh well with those two dates. But yeah, Eric's a good dude. So I appreciate you all coming in. So what I'm trying to accomplish here is uh, converting this into a digital model that then I can 3D print, which is because I have a 3D printer, right? So that, that's the bed of my 3D printer there. And so I have this um, I have this printer that uh, I'll 3D print this part in white PLA. I have Matter, Hack Matter Hacker's white PLA that I'm going to use to print this. So I'm just getting to, to drawing this out. And it's, it's real simple in Illustrator, right? We're just going to pick some points. So I'm going to start plotting right now. Um, I'm just trying to draw this out a little bit here. And I just want to go along this curve. And, you know, we can get some cool stuff going in here. Get these two points, I think will be accurate. And then uh, we want to come down here. I think this is square, so we'll just come right down to that spot. And we can come over here, come over here, over here, over here. Oh, I should show what I'm doing, huh? So, and then uh, you should ask how many times my mom's fallen down the steps. That was a... That was a poor joke because my mom did fall down the steps <laughs> and she broke her hip. Uh, we're going to go see her tomorrow. All right, we're getting close here. Yeah, see, that's a really bad name, Mike. I don't know why you pasted that. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> so, when, like 10 years ago when I created that channel, right, I was like, this is, <laughs> this is the, the name of my channel. And you can see, I'm not going to say it, but you can see what the name of the channel is. And it's uh, definitely not appropriate, but that was the name of my Battlefield gamer tag that I'd use uh, for the longest time. All right, so now we got we got all these fun paths here someplace. I gotta grab these points. I don't know where the points are. Where's the points? Oh yeah, we need this guy. So then the cool thing with this is is that we can do we can do stuff like this. Dude, I did not want to do that. And I can start messing with these with these points here, right? And that that's why I like this, because then I can pull this guy out this way. And then we can rotate. Oh, didn't want to do that. I can rotate this guy so he's this way. And it just makes for a really awesome way to trace all this. Right? And that's uh, that's what we're doing. Ron Floyd, are you saying dang because of my name, or dang because I'm having a fun time here in Illustrator? <laughs> so then here, this guy, we just want him to be a, a single point, right? So we just bring him in, and that gets rid of all that fun stuff. And then we can bring him in this way. And so this is how we trace, right? And then this is actually a single point too, but it's going to be kind of difficult because it has to curve around. So we'll see how we do that. Uh, you know what? We'll do it this way maybe. So I can drop him down that way. So hopefully you see what's going on. Yeah, tech for your knees. Thank you for, 
thank you so much for joining in. And I appreciate all the super chats, everyone. That is freaking incredible. You know, I'm, I'm not worthy is what comes to mind. I am not worthy. Oh, don't want to drag you. So I'm just playing with these points. Oh, come on, stop. I just want to grab the point. Grab the point. There we go. And so I'm just making it conform to this. And then this guy here, this handle, I could drag it and make it go away like that. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, thanks, Ron. Yeah, she, uh, I don't know what it was, but uh, she just lost it. And now she has a, uh, I learned a lot about hips. Things that I was taking for granted. A lot of uh, actions. I, I spent 25 years in martial arts. And I learned more about hips than I did in martial arts, I can tell you that. And the importance of your hips. <laughs> like, I was like, yeah. Really ignorant on the, the whole hip thing. Yeah, this is coming along nicely. It's a... Uh, it's working out well and the cool thing is I can pop these points right to here uh, for uh, for tracing this yeah, it's really that's why I like this man and then this guy here we're good I think maybe just drag him up a little bit and then here we want to make him go away, right? So he's straight. And then this guy, we make him go away. So he's straight also, and I'll drag that point over right to there. So see, this is how we, this is how we use Adobe Illustrator for getting all the curves right. And that's, that's why I really appreciated having Jimmy DeResto on because he he's able to teach us um, the importance of Adobe Illustrator and now we just make this guy conform to here now the one thing I don't like is now that I'm looking at this more closely right uh, it's slightly off like it's tilted like maybe a half a degree or something Hips are kind of handy. <laughs> yeah. That's right. So now, I am, so why am I doing this? I already got the one half done. Why am I worrying about the other half? Remember I said that I just need to mirror this? So I just need to make sure that I have one side that's perfect, and then I just have to mirror it. So I'm going to kind of stop this operation, right? I, if I'm satisfied with the right side, I don't need to worry about the left side. So, Paul Peck, what is up, brother? So, just to bring you up to date, Paul, I'm taking this railing, vinyl railing end cap. My uh, cousin owns a construction company. He's doing uh, doing work for a friend just down the street from us. And he needs this vinyl cap. And so, what I'm doing is working on the lower profile first off. And then I'm going to expand beyond it. All right, control Y. Oh, check that out. I didn't know that that did that. So a uh, little background about my brother, Mutt Bunch. He, uh, him and I, we both worked for the same company when I was in college, and then he continued on, and he's a friggin' amazeballs expert in Adobe Illustrator. So when he just said, hit control Y, well, now you can see why. All right, so now I'm going to continue with this other line. So we'll just pick these points here, kind of right where the curves end. Let's see, it looks like it ends right about there, maybe. And then right about here, and right about there. Maybe here, and then there and that's all that we need and now we can zoom in and start playing with this and I got to show my screen 
Yeah, he's a graphic artist. Yo, Jeff Eatley. So I want to thank Jeff. Jeff is the one who took my profile photo, and my profile photo is uh, used everywhere pretty much. So a big shout out to him. I will see him at Video Marketing World uh, in August. That's in uh, Dallas, Texas. So if you're able to get the Video Marketing World, definitely get there. I'm going to try to get the Vid Summit. Uh, it's definitely on my list. Uh, I'm working with some uh, stuff for that. And we'll see how that goes. So now this handle here, if I drag this handle all the way up, it gets rid of the curve, which I don't want to curve at that point. So now see, it makes it a straight line from between these two points. And now I can play with this curve until it matches. Now let me zoom in. All right, so I can just play with it. And I can play with this other one and that might help a little bit. Let's see here. So then I want to get rid of that point, that other point. I'll drag this other point all the way to here to get rid of it. So that's looking pretty good. I mean, this is the outside. The outside really doesn't doesn't matter too much if I'm not exact. The inside is really where it matters. So I think I gotta drag this point down a little bit just to make it. There we go. There we go. Things are happening now. No, Jeff. I, I don't know that I can thank you enough, man. It's and then we had the collab together, which we gotta do another one. So if any of you are gonna be where I'm at, uh, we need to make sure we take time to do a video together because what it does is it exposes our two audiences. And like we're we're seeing this now. Like everybody here is pretty much a content creator. Um you know, Paul's crushing it, man. He's he's gonna be in hundred K soon. What are you at right now, Paul? It's a uh, it's crazy how much he's grown. He's got that YouTube algorithm thing totally understood, man. Totally killing it. So I think because I want this to be a vertical line, I'm gonna drag this out to this blue line. Right. So we'll use this guide as our method and then we'll just drag this out to there so then that way we're perfectly square yeah so charlie for sure yeah you can list me i don't, I don't know how but if if you're able to list me as part of the crew and i'll come down and record with you i'll get some mad footage for you I don't know if you're allowed to do that, but if you are, that would be badass. All right, we're just playing with the handles right now, and that's kind of wacky. What's going on there? It's wacky, I say. All right, so we want him right about there. Oh, so that doesn't help. We want this guy to go away. So that's how we get that. Now we need him to go in line. And then we need this guy to not be so whatever. Yeah, this is slightly complicated, that's why. Let's see, so we'll just pull him out a little bit like that. So this might be okay. I just want to make sure it maintains that nice... 51,000, 51,000 subscribers. That is crazy. Crazy, Paul. You know, and we we all know it would happen. You know, it's like, to act, to act like we're surprised, it's kind of like stupid because you're just totally crushing it. Like, there's no reason to be surprised that Paul Peck is where he's at. Alright, so I wonder if that is acceptable. Alright, so let's change. Can I change this background color to make it. Yeah, so Dantana Music, what um what's your latest tracks that you're making, man? 
we need to hear some of his beats. You know, my son, I told you about my son. He's making a, he's making a lot of beats. He goes to Rowan University uh, next semester in the fall for music production. Let's see, object. Uh, no, can't do that. And alpha channel. Where is alpha? I don't see alpha listed here. Huh. Okay, no alpha. No, I'm not too kind, man. You're a badass. You know that. You're a ninja. You're a YouTube ninja. Alright, so then we take... I think I want that guy... Let's see, can I turn off that black? Maybe I'll turn off that black. Let's go back to control Y. Let's turn... We want the stroke to be black. And we want the fill to be nothing. And that way we can see what's going on. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, Renaissance man, I know what you're saying, man. My first subscriber was my mom. I was like, Mom, can you please, please create, please create a Gmail account. And then uh, after you do that, subscribe to me. <laughs> That's what it was like. All right, so now we want to rinse and repeat on this guy. Let's see, so we'll make him black, and we'll turn that guy off. And then let's consider changing it to maybe yellow. No, that's the fill. I don't want that to be nothing. Let's make that line like maybe a green, dark green. All right. So that should help there. All right, and then I just want to make sure that I get this traced just right. The, the important part is the inside. The inside needs to be spot on. We can't have any issues. Now there is this little rigid thing. I don't know if this rigid thing is important. And my guess is that, um, so like right here, this rigid thing. I don't know what that is. But my guess is I'm going to be doing a few iterations of this. So we can see that that's not that's not a pleasant angle. So now we want to switch to this direct selection tool, and then that way we can drag this, and we'll just go right to here. But if I do that, now we're smaller. So that's my only concern. That maybe if I do this, see, I don't want to be. Oh, you know what? It's just so now I can select this guy. I just want to make sure that I'm not. Oh. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so we're here. And this was measuring on the inside. So that's a that's of concern, right? So now I want to make sure that I bring this down in alignment. Uh, let's drag another guide. So to drag a guide in Adobe, I'll show you just drag from the ruler. I'm just going to drag it right from that point, and I just want to make sure I get this point here right on the guide. Right on the guide. Here we go. So now that's on the guide. So the issue is that's the inside part that's going to cover around the railing piece. And if I, okay, so you, yeah, I'm, I'm assuming that too, Carl. Um, and then if, if I make this part 
inward, it's going to be too tight to fit around the railing. So I want to be a little generous when I'm defining these vectors. Uh, so this this line here that I got going on, I think I want to pull him down so that it is below the line that I drew. And likewise here, I want to pull this so it's below, so it's within the line that I traced. And then Sherry's dad is in the, in the hospital as well. Oh, they both went to the hospital the same day for different things. And uh, he is, he's in um, manor care and my mom's in manor care also. So now we get to, and they're seeing each other because my dad, so Sherry's dad is moving around pretty well. And, um, uh, so he's he's stopping to see my mom, which is cool. All right, then this anchor we want to get rid of. So you you got into making content, and then you had seventy five subscribers and no content. Well, that that's a testament to you engaging everyone, Ron. I've said that before, man. I'm serious. Like, you're one of the nicest guys the internet knows. Not many people on the internet who are nice. Yeah, Ron Floyd is good people. And how do you think my audio sounds? My audio decent? So yeah, I definitely need a different microphone. I think I'm going to go with a SM7B. I think that's a sure, a sure microphone. Yeah, that would be serious, Jeff. Wait, I'm doing this again. Like, I'm worrying more about the left side when I just have to worry about the right side. So let's take a chill pill. Let's make sure we get all this set up, and then we can just mirror. We can mirror. Nah, you're, you're good, Ron. Right, and then this guy I want to pull up a little bit because I want to make sure that it's within you know what I can get rid of him so that's a straight line I did not want to do that and then this guy we want to snap that way yeah, okay, so now we got a straight line there. Yep, we're good. And then I'm going to pull this guy in. So again, I'm pulling this in because I want it to be smaller. I don't want to encroach on the interior of this. Because this is what has to wrap around the railing, the piece of railing. See all the way there. What is that? That was really weird. Alright, and then this guy I want to drag over a little bit. And I think that that should give good representation. Because I'm I'm within the line. See I trace the outside of the inside part. So that's this here. Uh no. It's this here that I traced all the way around here. And I just want to make sure that that I can be bigger on the very outside. I just don't want to be big on the inside. 
Yeah, no, that's cool, Charlie. Yeah, I appreciate you stopping by, brother. And there's super chats, man. You guys are too kind. So then I can drag this guy up. He's looking good. <laughs> yeah, that that might be the case there. Yo, what's up, llama? Llama, llama, llama. Every time I'm on your live stream, I'm like, I uh. I watch your live stream, and I'm just saying to, to myself, Lama. And uh, you really don't want to record that, but that's what I say. <laughs> Lama. Right, so. right. Did not want to do that. Yeah, uh, Brian gives me this kind of stuff because he knows that I'll just sit here and, and do it until I get it done because I'm like, got severe ADD and all that bull crap. And like, if he assigns something to me, I'll go like, ape crap on it and be like, okay, I gotta, I gotta get this done, I gotta get this done, I gotta get this done. Carl, you still in here? I gotta figure out how to cut this now and then mirror it. I forget how to do that. I think I wanna cut right down this middle and mirror it. All right, we got these two pieces. Oh, you know, yeah, this is icky. So we're just gonna drag him right like that. And this is fine that it's a little bit bigger, I suspect. You know, I'll just put him right on the line. Right on the line. There we go. So now he's straight. Yeah, so, okay. So, Carl, you, you see I got one hand. I got some drawn to the left. I really just care about right down the middle to the right mirror to the left side so that now it's a duplicate thing and then the points get connected is there a way to mirror in illustrator and i swear that there was i forget all about it and i that probably means i got to put a point at each of these spots let's see here pen tool so i'll put a point there is it the point all right paul thank you very much for joining in brother i appreciate you Nope, that is not what I want. I want to add a point, add point. All right, so I added a point. All right, so if you want to cut on center guide, hit C and chop, chop. <laughs> chop, chop, chop. Wait, C? That didn't do what I wanted it to do. See? Okay, yeah, so we got that. Oh, chop chop means I gotta select like this part here, not the guide. Don't. Nope, I didn't want to do that. So I'm good here because my line's only there. And then what about this guy? Let's see, can we hide guides? I don't want to really hide guides. T. It's so complicated, Carl. <laughs> oh, that is funny, man. Anchor. Okay, so there's my anchor. So now let's see what else we got here. Why isn't that dragon? No, I don't want to drag. Ink, pin, point. And I think I can just select these now and delete all these, right? 
delete now, right? So, okay, so that now you're saying that I need to select Control C, Control V, Control T, Control T. Control T brought up. Edit. Isn't there help? No, that's Adobe stuck. I thought there was something like help or something. You're a keyboard junkie, so I have to figure out how to edit. Paste. Object shape path or all I want to do is mirror transform under mirror reflect right here yeah control T brought up um, Vertical and okay, so there we go. Got it. So now that they're intersected, how do I join them? So now do I got to do oh, stop? How do I join these two now? Control J or something. All right, let's try that one more time. We'll do that if I create a new one. Control V again, object. Oh, you know what? I wonder if, hold on, if my lines, oh, that's wrong. I'm in the wrong program. If my lines aren't exactly on there, then that's pointless what I'm doing. So hold on, let me do this. Just make sure that we are on that. I just want to make sure that's exactly on that point there. Yeah, see, this one's not. Let me drag him right there. And I want to make sure he is exactly at that. So see, now, now I can copy. All right, so let's try this again. We will copy. Hold on. Get away. This is why this is going to be more than one stream. Because. And it might be the whole three weeks <laughs> that you're talking about, Renaissance. <laughs> Control on delete. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Copy. Paste, paste again, and then transform, reflect, vertical, they're intersected, and then I can drag maybe, I can do this, no I can only do one at a time right, control J, well, it might have worked. Control J. Oh, look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're getting there. Yeah, buddy. Control J. And then this one will be Control J. All right, good. So now we can save this as. And we're going to go to 3D printing. And we're going to where? 
the hell do they call it? Hello, railing end cap. Railing end cap bottom profile. All right, now let's go to Fusion. Let's see if we can at least get this imported into Fusion. Insert. Uh, I don't think. Do I need to? I forget what I did before. I think I have to save it as an SVG. I think. And then here I got to pick the area I'm going to bring it in. So I want to do the. X, Y. And we'll do file save as. SVG. I'm back in the illustrator right now. So SVG 1.1, yep, yep, yep. You hit OK there. Go back to Fusion 360. Insert SVG. Point to the file. And then we want 3D printing. Yeah, buddy, look at this. Yeah, buddy, we just brought it in. So then, all right, so this gets us part way there, right? Uh, I'll just pick someplace. Oh, no, your phone just rang. Better answer that. All right, so that's this part here uh, that we're looking at, the outside and the inside. Now, the cool thing with this is that I should be able to, uh, I think I have to hit enter or something, but I do have to measure this and then choose a scale factor, right? So what do we have? I'm measuring right now. Let's put the webcam. So if I measure this puppy, we're talking 84, so we'll make, I'm really worried about the inside. So let's make sure that the inside is 79, yeah, 79 millimeters. So we want to make sure that the inside is 79 millimeters. And so I'll just hit OK. So now we got this object. And then we can just draw a box, rectangle, center rectangle. And then we want this one 79 millimeters. All right, so now we got, and then we want this as construction. So I sh should have been showing my screen if I wasn't, sorry. Um, so I brought this in. And this is my construction line. So now I just need to make sure that I expand so I will scale this object sketch. And I think it's under create, modify, scale. Uh, we want to select, wait, I can't scale this. Come on, get out of here. Uh, scale. Crap, it's not letting me scale. I had this problem before, and I forget how I scaled this vector. Maybe it's because it's not in there, right? Point. 
entities. Well, let's just see what happens if we extrude this, and then I might be able to change it. Yo, what's up, Walter? Thank you so much for joining in, brother. Man, we had Chris Riley in here. Dantana's in here. El Jefe's in here. Yo, what's up, Jamie? Jamie's in here. Jamie in the house. I hang out with Jamie in uh, Baltimore. I appreciate you uh, stopping in, brother. So let's just extrude this puppy, and then we'll see if we can modify it. I don't know if that's a good approach. Um, create, extrude. Let's go up like a... How much should I say? Let's go up 38 millimeters. All right, so now we got this. So this thing is extruded now, right? That's only part of the profile. We got to do this other profile and merge them together. That's going to be for some fun stuff. But now what I want to do is... Ex um, like scale this delete phase compute failed oh that's a lot of fun so wait so you're telling me renaissance man you saw this in aisle 14 by 7 but yet I'm going to spend the next three weeks designing this thing <laughs> Yeah, I appreciate it, Jamie. You're an awesome, dude, man. All right, let's switch back to our sketch. We'll turn off our body. Switch back to our sketch. Uh, scale. I swear there's a scale under here, but maybe not. See, maybe I have to do this again and use this guy as my reference point. So let's try that. Let's move. Yeah, it's not letting me use these guys. Sketch objects. Faces. Yeah, it's not treating that as a sketch object, which is really odd. Maybe I can copy. Let's try that. Let's do copy and paste. Nope. Copy and paste. Dude, I, I know I've done this before. Hey, Anna, thank you for joining in. So uh, I have to send you... I want to send you a bunch of stickers. Because um, you see a couple of makers over there, right? And when is... um. Isn't Maker Central this week? So uh, let me give you the, the rundown. So this is a vinyl fencing, vinyl railing on a deck. There's end caps that go between the end of the railing and the post to hide, to hide the mounting bracket, the aluminum mounting bracket. So this is just a cover plate, right, for the railing. And what I'm doing is I'm designing this for my cousin, right? It's some railing that's like over 10 years old and you can't get these pieces anymore for this type of railing. So we're, uh, we're taking these and I'm designing, I sketched it first and scanned it in in Illustrator and traced it. So you can see I sketched it here and then traced it and got what looks like a perfect model and then I bring it into Fusion 360 here and uh, and doing that so it's this weekend so everybody is on a plane now right so because with a little bit of foresight I should have got all my stickers and then sent them I could still send you a bunch of stickers DM me your address I want to see what it's going to cost to send me, send you a, a crap ton of stickers. And um, 
and if it's if it's not outrageous, I'll uh, I'll send a crap ton of stickers to your house. Keep in mind they're large. They're like they're like that big, right? So it's like what? Yeah, hundred hundred and forty centimeters across. Square. All right. Thank you, Mike, for joining in. Appreciate it. Yeah, I see. Uh, I see Mike's live stream pretty much once a week. I'm at least in there once a week in Mike's live stream, and then sometimes I'll see Llama. Yeah. So DM me in a messenger, Facebook Messenger, or something, and I'll uh, I'll see how much it'll cost to send you stickers. Insert SVG. Let's try this again. Uh, we will do this one file. And now we'll bring it up here. And then we'll see if we can scale it. Two. Let's just make this bigger. I hate that the origin is like all the way up there. All right, so two is too big. Let's make it 1.5. This is going to be a fun game here. Oh, I hit enter, didn't I? Crap. I just undid what I was doing. Yeah, how many people were at Maker Central last year? I don't know if you remember. Do you remember I did a um, a collab with uh, Average Joe? That was a, that was a neat neat experience. Let's see. So I'm wondering if this is actual measurements. What if I switch this to millimeters? Uh, file document setup. Points. Let's go millimeters. Let's show rulers. View uh, rulers. So if we start from here to here, we want this to be 79. I think I can double click right here or not. Really? Crap. So Llama is informing me that I can do this a lot easier directly within. Um, yeah, see, this is like exact, but it's not bringing it in exact. I'm looking at this and it's pretty much it's 79. Well, it's 78. I really need it to be 79, I think. I did not know that. Yo, Ryan. Hey, <laughs> you're here now. I appreciate that. All right. So let's see now. We can go back to Fusion. But how do I bring that in? Well, first off, it comes in as an SVG, right? And this is showing 79 across, so why isn't it, why when I pick this point here, and then I measure it here, so why is it different, right, why is it, but now what's cool is I know I can do a ratio, so I can get the exact scaling. Oh, oh, the SVG is the problem. Gotcha. Yep, that makes sense. All right, well, here, I got a measurement right now, so this is cool. So I'm just going to run this through a calculation. So I need to go 79 uh, divided by 47.548, and I need to increase that by 1.66, right? So let's do the 
insert insert SVG. And now we want to use 1.66. Where'd the thingy go? Six six one four seven eight nine. I don't know if that matters, but let's see. It's, not, it's crazy. It's not letting me move it, but it will let me move this guy, right? Uh, there's a couple of people that have something that's getting the technology like really close to that. It would be awesome if they had that. 59. How's my measurement off? It was coming in at... Oh, I measured the wrong one. <laughs> Ninety-nine. Ew. I want it to be seventy-nine. Yeah. So I got it. I got a picture. I actually I could take the picture of what I just drew and illustrate it, right? And I can use that. Insert. Uh, so you don't have the capability of saving the DXF, right? That's not an option in Illustrator. Export as DWG DXF. Let's see what happens if I do it as DXF. Scale one millimeter. Let's see what happens. If this will be more accurate, insert DXF. Damn, that's huge. Inch, oh, millimeter. That looks more reasonable. Let's just say, okay. And now let's measure. Look at that. That came out pretty much right on. Yeah, so take, I, okay, I see what you're saying. So you take a photograph of it, and then you can bring that photograph in, and then you can compare it. But I think I'm good now. I have this object in here. Now I just got to make sure I delete this stuff. All right, so here's my object. And then I can extrude this guy. And now I just got to do the same thing for the other one. So let's see. Let me do one more thing here. I'll grab, grab this channel one more time. If you haven't subscribed already to my you do it after dark channel i'd appreciate it that's my um that's my you do it after dark and um that'll help me uh, grow i want to get it to 100 subscribers so i can um, um change the name because it's not an appropriate name that i use now <laughs> So then I can select inside here and I can definitely extrude. And I want to extrude it up to the whole way for sure. And I believe it was 38, yep, 38 millimeters that I want to extrude. I 
just gotta turn on our body. So there we go. Now we're done the first part. So what I'll do is uh, tomorrow night we're gonna be on. Um, yeah, I will definitely do that, Mama. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Ron. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, I live stream gaming pretty much every night now, unless if I'm busy with something else. Uh, tomorrow night we're on doing it with Jason's channel. Uh, we're doing the What Is Good podcast, and we have Chris Cunningham on. If you don't know Chris, Chris is a good guy. And um, so I'm going to wrap this up. I appreciate everybody again. Um, I appreciate you, Mike. Uh, I want to um, thank everyone again who donated the Super Chat. It was just above and beyond. It's not expected, of course. And I just feel like I'm not worthy a lot uh, of your donations. And it's just extremely appreciated I um, I try to I, I, I just I don't know at a loss for words with that but anyway we'll uh, we'll pick this up again uh, tomorrow night um, not tomorrow night Thursday night uh, because tomorrow night we're on the what is good podcast we're doing it with Jason on doing it with Jason's YouTube channel I'll, uh, I'll throw in a link real quick for doing it with Jason's channel. And if you're interested in that, you can stop by his channel. Uh, again, we do the What Is Good podcast over there. So that's his link. Yeah, so thank you so much. I, I really appreciate that, Ron. You stopping by. and Mike, Llama, you guys are awesome. So I'm going to end this stream now, and I'll... Uh, be live gaming, live streaming some Battlefield uh, Five over on uh, over on my other channel. So I appreciate you again. Thanks for stopping in, and yeah, thank you again. I appreciate you all as always. Yo, Carl. So uh, Carl, just to let you know, I'll be live streaming again on Thursday, and if you haven't already. Um, if you don't know about my channel, uh, my You Do It After Dark channel, this is, uh, that's my channel. If you would take a moment just to subscribe to that. And uh, Thursday night I'm going to do, this was totally, you know, unknown that I was going to do this. My cousin said he needed a part designed and that's this part for end cap for a railing. So I'm going to do this again on Thursday night live stream and we'll pick this up and show the model that I'm working on which is you know this guy here which you can see I extruded that already so uh, thank you Ron I appreciate that all right so uh, we'll touch base and I want to talk to you more about your printer there Carl I'd like to uh, if you're able to get the parts together and get one to me I'd like to show that off on my channel for you if that's something that you want to do, and if you do, then great. I'll, uh, I'll definitely uh, make use of it for you. All right, nice people. Thank you so much. Appreciate you all.